how to find low competition keywords for SEO. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can find low competition words for your search engine optimization. So let's get into it. Now, everyone knows that if you're running any kind of website or business, it's very essential to have SEO or search engine optimization for your business or listing. And there are certain keywords uh, which are going to be premium words or words that are very essential for your listing or your business to appear in the top of search engines and everyone knows that google is our top search engine most people almost use the terms interchangeably so i am going to be using google or search engine as a interchangeable term and uh, the first thing i like to do to find low competition keywords and we're looking for low competition keywords because let's say if you search for cake there are already people that have uh, like large businesses that have established, you know, high ranking links on the word cake. But if you search for something a bit more specific, that is still a keyword. Let's say chocolate mousse cake recipe for beginners. So that is going to be a more specified keyword that is going to help you in getting your search engine result to the top. It is still going to be a keyword, which means that it is going to be searched more frequently. Obviously, it won't be searched as frequently frequently as a keyword like cake, but still it is going to be a highly demanded keyword with lower competition. So to get started, what I like to do is I like to go and hop onto trends.google.com, which is Google Trends, and I can search for whatever country I want over here, and I can look for the current trend. So for example, let's say I am a baker and I'm running a blog, I'm trying to get a good listing for my recipes, so I'm going to search for cake over here. And now once I have searched for cake, you can see I can compare, uh, I can search it worldwide or any specific country as well. Let's say I'm going to search worldwide and then I'm going to go in the past uh, 12 months. You can also add specific categories and you can add whether you are looking for web search, news search, image search, Google shopping or YouTube search. So we're looking for a web search over here and you can see it had a spike in December uh, 2021 and then after that it's like so and it's going up. That, but but what you might be wondering is, this is not the keyword we're going to be using. The low competition keywords that you're going to find is, what you're going to do is you're just going to scroll down. And then when you have these related topics or related queries, you can see uh, once I drag my mouse over any of these related queries, you can see that it is a this one is a breakout term. This one is a breakout term. Uh, these ones are breakout terms, which means that these were not previously searched very much, but all of a sudden they are now being searched. So you can see I searched for it now and this has seen a quite a larger spike. So once I have this term, I'm going to scroll down once more. And what you can do is you can take a look at the related queries and add those keywords into the search engine a listing that you are going to create so whatever listing you're going to create you're going to add all of these related queries keywords into your basic niche now this is like not a uh, data method this is a general method that i'm showing you guys i'm going to focus on the general method now and now i'm going to later on like later on i'm going to show you how to specify this so from here let's say we have a bento cake as our new search term so i found this amazing keyword now how do i further find a more specified way to search for bento cake a more uh, specific uh, keyword that would be lower competition because bento cake okay it's a breakout keyword term but it probably has high competition now well, in that situation, what you're going to do is you're going to go on to a tool like keywordplanner.io, which is another keyword search tool, and you can go and enter the keyword over here, and you can go and enter the keyword. So we're just going to... So we have just added our keyword over here and they're just going to search for that keyword. Now you're going to see that you have this, uh, you have a list of keywords. So you can see this is the initial keyword that I put in. And then on the left side, I have more keywords that I can copy and add into my listings or my recipes, my blog, website, whatever it might be. So. This will enable you to find the best keywords and obviously uh, this is like the major term and the longer the keyword so if it's a keyword phrase then it's probably lower competition and keyword phrases still do very well in terms of seo optimization seo optimization can really be great with these kinds of phrases like window cake design for mother's day this is going to be a good keyword because it is very specific yet it is something that people are going to be searching for because it is such a common thing to search for. Now, 
other than this you also have tools like wordstream.com so uh what you're going to do is you're just going to search for your keyword so we're going to search for cake once more because i'm going to continue with the same example because i want to show you guys the variability of variability of results so we're going to choose a state you can have the united states or minor and flying lands so we're just going to continue on over here and what we're going to do so you can see once I've searched for this keyword, you have the top of page bid, which is the low range, you have the top of page bid, which is high range, and then the competition. And the best part about WordStream is that not only do they give you the overall keywords, but they also give you competition. So cake is a very high competition word. Cupcake is also high, but things like a bakery near me, nothing but cakes, cheese, cheesecake factory cheesecake are all low, uh, low keywords. So they are low competition keywords. Now, if I scroll down, I have things like cake shop, or I also have things like uh, king cake. I have things like crab cakes. All of these are similar keywords that are going to be uh, that are going to be easily available because that are going to like help me rank higher in my SEO because they are slightly lower competition, and that is the purpose. The reason that we want low uh, low competition keywords is because we are trying to get our search results to the top of the search engine or to, to the top of Google basically and you can find more keywords for uh, other brands or other businesses as well for example if we go on to the keyword research tool on helium 10 which is primarily for amazon so i'm not saying this is for everything but this is for amazon but the thing about this is that often you can find amazing keywords that would far more detail on this tool than you would on any other tool so let's say i enter the keyword of cake over here and obviously there is quite a few chance that you might be looking for keyword optimization for your amazon business as well but you can see the search volumes the magnet iq score then you also have your overall competing product so the lower the competing product over here the better it is for you so blueberry chantley cake uh, bourbon cake with alcohol these things have zero competing product and they do have a higher search volume so you're looking for something with low uh low competing products and high overall all a uh, search volume and you can easily find these over here on this free tool with helium and this is going to be a amazon search primarily so you're going to be getting these specific results for amazon but this is applicable on two other platforms as well and there's also the arefs keyword generator so you're going to select google over here so you're just going to go on to arefs and we're just going to search for whatever keyword that we want i'm just going to sign in with google over here so we can click on Keyword Explorer. So now you can see over here, I have searched for cake in the keyword generator as well. And this is the thing about having a having multiple uh, multiple checks in different uh, websites or different keyword generators or finders is that you are going to be able to further find different keywords. So you have the KD, the volume and updated. So what is the KD, which is the keyword difficulty? So how hard it is to rank in the top 10 of the organic search results. So obviously uh, cake is going to be very hard to re-ranking in the top pages. Then you have things like uh, nothing but cake. So this is going to be a great uh, option for people that are looking to rank higher in the overall scores. And you can get the AREX free, free keyword generator as well. It's super useful as well. But if you want detailed analytics for all of these, then all of these other keywords as well, then you're going to have to subscribe to AREFs. But still, I do find that you can, if you're combining all of these multiple platforms together, then you can easily find with these methods, you can easily get the perfect low competition keywords for your listing, business blog, website, or anything else. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below and I will catch you guys in the next video.